the one and only Ann Coulter, author extraordinaire, American conservative, social and political commentator. I got to tell you a funny story. A friend of mine was at my house the other night, really didn't know what I did for a living, sort of. We're not that close. (laughs) And she said to me, you know who my hero is? And I said, I have no idea. If it's not me, I don't care. Yeah, and I'm she, with you. <laughs> she said, well, it's not you. It's Ann Coulter. And I whipped out a picture of you and me together. And now, like, I'm, I'm, the, I'm second in line. <laughs> well, number one, that makes me very happy. But number two... To, again, does she know who you are? <laughs> no, I don't, think so. I don't think there's much daylight between our positions. <laughs> no, not too much, that's for sure. But you, uh, you know, th- this uh, Sex in America part two, just, uh, you know, you, you said it better than anybody else has. And, and I I have just been pretty appalled by all of this. I'm not a prude, but boy, reading some of the lurid details of the last 24 hours of these guys, um it's it's outrageous. And how come they get punished in Hollywood and on television immediately and uh, the guys up in Washington go to the yes. hospital? Yes, yes. And um, I think it's worth pointing out, as I just did on Twitter, that Nancy Pelosi isn't calling for all of these so far exposed um, sexual predators in Congress to be, to resign. Oh, no, no, only the proud black man with only one blemish on his career, his years of of sexual uh, assault. Um, but why not Al Franken? Mm. Why, why is he the one getting, it's weird how, um, I mean, the main theme of my column was, you know, welcome aboard, liberals. This is the first time liberal men have been held to account mm. after uh, Teddy Kennedy drowns a girl, and as I think I mentioned in last week's column, the James Reston article, he was in Martha's Vineyard, um, prominent New York Times reporter, he was in Martha's Vineyard when Teddy Kennedy, running off for an affair with um, an unmarried girl while he was married, um, left her to drown, walking past houses with their lights on, goes back to the hotel to um, to concoct an alibi and, and later ask his cousin to say he was driving as Mary Jo Kopechny is, is struggling to breathe in the in the sinking car. Mm-hmm. No, he, he turned around and ran for president 11 years later. In any event, James Reston, reporter for the New York Times, was in Martha's Vineyard when that started. He called in his story to the New York Times. And the first line was, tragedy has again come to the Kennedy right. family. Right, right. <laughs> can, is, can you fit in the Kopechny family no. place here? Mm-hmm. And then you have Clarence Thomas, which, you know, for young people, I hate his name even being mentioned in these, in these circumstances. Number one, it wasn't true. It wasn't true. It wasn't true. That, that can't be said often enough. You know, all these... Um, D.C. Circuit Court judges, some pre- Supreme Court justices, and some prominent attorneys, they have these, or used to have, I don't know if they do anymore, um, they used to have this big poker game. It would be like Scalia and Kennedy, um, I think Ken Starr, um, a few other members of the D.C. Circuit, and Clarence Thomas. These aren't exactly, you know, ribald frat boys, right. and yet they used to say the prudish among all of them was Clarence Thomas. So I think it really, I, 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 to this day it makes me angry that they did pull out this racist cliche to use against, against Clarence Thomas. It was absolutely false. But having said that, unfortunately, the part about it being false is always lost in the story because most people's reaction is, even if it's true, <laughs> it's not that bad. Right. It was just that he was talking about, joking about Long Dong Silver in the office, allegedly it wasn't true, it's not um, true. and bragging yeah. about his sexual prowess. Mm-hmm. And so unfortunately, so many people were reacting by saying, so what? They never got to the part about it being false, and, and I feel sorry for him for that. Mm-hmm. But haha, he got the last laugh, he's on the Supreme Court. Sure um, is. But after going through all that, and then to have an actual just a few years later, an actual real live, genuine sexual predator slash rapist in the Oval Office, and the entire left dug in their heels, went after the accusers, went after people, you know, like me and Michael Isikoff and Matt Drudge, who merely believed the accusers and defended the accusers, whom, as we know, we're all telling the truth. Mm-hmm. Gloria Steinem launches her one free grope rule in the New York Times, saying it was fine for Clinton as governor to summon a low level state employee to his hotel room, drop his pants, and say, kiss it, because, I quote, he took no for an answer. No, that was the all-new standard. And so it seems mm. to me, for a couple of decades, we have been living with liberal men 
who had good reason to believe they could do anything. Right. Well, and finally, they're being called on the carpet. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm fine if they catch a few Republicans in there. Um, but I will predict right now that if we're allowed to see all of the sexual predators in Congress, it is going to be quite lopsided toward the Democrats. Oh, absolutely. And that it's it's typical. It, these are the same uh you know, this is the same party that claims to be for minorities. And yet I look at every inner city um, with poor education, with people living uh-huh. in poverty, uh, all controlled by Democrats. Um, and now all the women sexually abused uh, pr- predominantly are going to point their fingers at, at, at Democrats and 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 liberals, because guys like Matt Lauer, you know, he has. When I think back about how Matt Lauer covered the Clinton years, when I yes. think back, you know, these guys were how he sat in that interview with Bill O'Reilly, trashing O'Reilly, knowing who he was. Um, yes. Only a liberal could do that. Uh, you know, yes. And look at the head of NBC, Andy oh. Black. He is, I believe, Juanita Broderick um, tweeted this yesterday. I haven't looked up um, how long Andy Lack has been at NBC. I know it would only take a 10-second Google. But according to Juanita Broderick, he was the one who killed the interview with her. With Lisa Meyer. Yeah, that's true. I mean, NBC definitely did it. Yes. Um, that, that, That is a fact. Um, and then, you know, rushes to print with a defense of Al Franken and, most shockingly, kills the Ronan Farrow report on Harvey Weinstein far more b- detailed, far spicier than what the New York Times, and, you know, I praise the New York Times 20 years late for finally caring about sexual harassment, but Ronan Farrow's report, I mean, uh, he he is or should win a Pulitzer for that report. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And the NBC, he, he did it. It was commissioned. It, he was being paid, I guess, um, to put this all together for NBC. When he produces it, the lawyers say it's fine. But Andy Lack kills it. Right. Yeah. Well, listen, as you know, he was protecting his uh, golden goose. And that's what they've done with the Matt Lowers of the world. Look, you know, nobody's innocent in terms of these powerful men in media um, lauding their power over women. I mean, Fox isn't innocent either. I mean, they've Uh had their own issues in that area. But but I tell you, the the um, the way that that the the rest of the media handles it, you know, that that crying scene of uh, Savannah Guthrie and uh, Hoda, you know, uh, oh, we never knew. What do you mean you never knew? Uh, how could you not know? He had a, a, a button under his desk to lock the door, <laughs> and he lured these young interns in there. You never knew? Uh, how, how does that even happen? They, John Conyers' staff never knew. Now today somebody comes out and says, well, I often walk, on, walk in on him in his underwear. Really? <laughs> and do, does anybody walk in on you in your underwear? Not me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> they just, they, 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 it's absurd, the arguments I'm hearing. Yes, and I suspect I was taping a, um, a show, Channel 4, with ITV yesterday in NBC um, offices, which turned out to be a disaster because last night was the tree lighting at, Rock, at 30 Rock. Right. Um, so it was, you know, a war zone. Ironically, what I was talking about on, on Channel 4, and by the way, I am getting back to the point with this story, mm-hmm. um, it was, you know, the... the the insane British's obsession with Islamophobia, but not right. actual Islamic terrorism. Um, so I walk out on the street afterwards, can't find my car. All the streets are shut off. Every third person is a cop. There are bollards all over the place. I have to email the producer to say I can't find my car. Um, and I explain it's the tree lighting, and apparently New York City cops are worried about an outbreak of Islamophobia. Oh, <laughs> but it's the exact same thing when it comes to things like as I describe in, in Adios America, which side, oh, I was going to say what made me think of this and the mm-hmm. exact same thing, was when I was sitting in the chair, there was an NBC reporter there who said, oh, she's going on to report the um, hypocrisy of the Democrats on sexual harassment. And, you know, my ears sort of pe- um, perked up at that. And uh, the guy said to her, um, well, what about the Republicans? And she said, oh, well, that goes without saying. And I thought to myself, okay, you may think that, but... I really would like the names, yeah. and I always have the same the same feeling about it. There was just this big headline last week about, ooh, child brides going up in America. Um, how come it's only the immigration restrictionists who want the answers? 
who is having these child brides? Mm-hmm. Can we get answers on that? Can we find out what, why is only my side asking for the numbers on who is in prison? Who is in prison for what crimes? For, you know, Medicare fraud, for food stamp fraud, for child rape. Can we get the numbers on this? Because I see that what the left does, as with this video that our videos that, that Trump tweeted, um, which I've been tweeting up a storm on, that is not a disc- discredited video. They've all been attacking me for it because Trump re- uh, apparently may have. He's seen it on my Twitter feed. I tweeted this tweet from, from um, well, who knows? It's, it's, that's how Twitter works. It's yeah. a video. Nice. Um, but they're very upset that it's a group called Britain First, which is apparently hateful in and of itself. Um, and it shows um, what seems to be clearly a Middle Eastern boy beating up a, a white, very, very white blonde boy in the Netherlands. And the, um, um, the blonde Dutch boy is, is, is on crutches. So I tweeted out, it's a video. Nice. Um, now that they're all saying it's been discredited, it's been discredited, I emailed the Dutch reporter back today and said, what are the names? Of right. the two boys in the video. He has no idea. He shows me a link to an article. All it says about the attacker is that he is from um, some gobbledygook name of a town in, in, in the Netherlands. They won't tell us where he's born. Nice. They won't tell us his name. They won't tell us his ethnicity. But they're just going to go around screaming discredited, discredited. Yeah. Well, listen, they discredited, uh, you know, story after story when it came to the Kennedys. And, you know, they... they Juanita did Broderick. Ch- yeah. As early as recently as this year, Tom Lamas. Uh, has been referring, and, and, and as I'm sure you know, Andrea Mitchell, has right. been referring to Juanita Broderick's rape charge against Bill Clinton as, I quote, widely discredited. <laughs> they just say that about anything they don't like. No, it was widely confirmed. Yeah, exactly. And, and the bottom line is, you know, if nothing else uh, comes of all of these, these expositions that we're having to endure here, uh, I think the Clintons are finally toast. And, yeah. and that, is a, a, that provides me with a great deal of comfort because I've had to live with them for most of my adult life. Yes, I do think that is, in fact, the only reason all of this is coming forth right now. I think it would not have. None of this would have happened. If, if she were president? Oh, gosh, forget yeah. it. Yeah. Well, no, they'd still be paying out, uh, you know, to congressional interns for sex in the, in the uh, you know, in the, in the Rayburn building. If, if right, the, and, and Harvey Weinstein would be the master of some ceremonies at the, you know, holiday celebration at the White House. Yeah, exactly. How about that uh, holiday, uh, you know, Christmas card from Donald Trump this year? You got to love. Everything is in his face. I know you get mad at him a lot, but boy, I'll tell you, he just <laughs> pushes back and pushes back at these clowns like nobody's business. No, his attacks on the media, and incidentally, I now know how to get a story killed in the New York Times. They're always asking me for comment. I almost emailed back yesterday. I won't mention the name of the reporter. He Mm -hmm. actually is a good reporter, asking me for comment. And I almost just said, every time I I, I give a comment to you guys, you never use it. You can always find a conservative to give you an idiotic quote. So let's not quote Ann Coulter. But I thought, okay, I'll try one more time. No, the whole story was killed. But one of the things he was asking me about was, um, you know, what I thought of Trump tweets, and I said, although I am disappointed at the absence of a wall, I love the president's tweets. Me too. Tweet. <laughs> I, me too. I, I think that this has triggered, uh, you know, the beginning of the draining of the swamp, and I don't think even he knew how quickly it was going to happen. Um, or how much, I mean, I don't think any of us knew how ferocious and satanic the yeah. media is. Mm. They're just such utter liars. Yeah, well, listen, it's it's good to have them exposed. Well, I want to wish you an early happy birthday. I think you're on the 8th. And, and right back to you. It's yeah. tomorrow. That's it. Sagittarius. Happy birthday. Hey, well, thank when I get you. back, we should go out and celebrate. Absolutely. In the meantime, I've got everybody reading your article. It's up. We linked it at the website. I, we have both of them up there, Sex in America Part 1 and Part 2. Thanks, Anne. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.